A member of the Venezuelan Constituent Assembly has come out in a no uncertain terms said that if they feel threatened by the United States through Colombia, they will bomb infrastructure in Colombia. And they've even said what they'll use and how they'll do it. Now, this picture of that conversation shows a very interesting revelation in that map. I'm going to try to zoom in here, <clears throat> excuse me, and show you what he's looking at. What he said they would do was bomb the Magdalena River bridges from the north to the south, basically cutting Colombia in half. But where he's actually looking at is the western border, the south and western border of Colombia near Panama. Now, I don't know why he would have that particular part of the map printed up unless there was something else going on in this conversation they're not reporting. And I've said this for a long time. If this gets into a shooting match, that canal is up for grabs, and it would be the perfect way to hold the United States hostage. Because it's not a game down there of capture the flag. Just having any kind of military action going on around that canal is a loser for the United States. Because there would be insurance companies around the world that would just turn the boats around. They wouldn't even let them pass. They wouldn't even let them continue on their journey into a war zone. Now, I want to play something for you that I said before we do that. Let's do this first. Venezuela would bomb Colombia if U.S. tax lawmaker. Let's hear what he exactly said. Our Sukhois will have the responsibility of destroying the seven bridges of the Magdalena River that cross from north to south in Colombia and divide it in two. Maduro urged the military to not let their guard down and prepare to defend the national territory on the country's Independence Day on July 5. Colombia's president-elect, Ivan Duque, down here, met with U.S. Senator Marco Rubio last month to discuss ending the crisis and restoring democracy in Venezuela, Rubio, like Trump, has openly called for a U.S.-backed military coup in Venezuela. Now, here is this channel, 116 of this year, speaking about Operation Odysseus, Russia's iron grip on South America. I'll just play a little 30-second clip. Right across our border, we have game-changing events happening in this region that are going to affect the U.S. in ways you cannot even imagine. I mean, how many more things have to happen before anybody reports this? We've reported two military incursions by Venezuelan pro-Marxist FARC for forces in the last year into Colombia. We now have a Colombian FARC terrorist running for president. The ELN, a Marxist pro-Russian group, has launched a string of attacks in the last week, starting from the border here in Venezuela all the way down here, effectively cutting the country in half. Effectively, cutting the country in half, strangely enough now, the exact strategy coming out of a Venezuelan lawmaker. I'll say this one more time, quoting him. Our Sukhois will have the responsibility of destroying the seven bridges of the Magdalena River that cross from north to south in Colombia and divide it in two. Now, it wasn't very long ago, June 21st, that the Venezuelans did, in fact, deploy SU-30 Mark IIs on their western border. And I left these pins here for a reason, because I knew they meant something. They were here, and they put them here. And this is the river that they're, talk about, they're talking about bombing. I don't think this is an if. I don't think this is a theoretical. I think now it's just a matter of when, who does what first, and who's going to be able to get the advantage. There was a part of me for a while that thought, well, you know, maybe you're wrong. This is going to be a shooting war. Nobody's going to talk their way out of this one now. 
It's just a matter of time. We had the ELN that refused, unlike the FARC, to be disarmed. And now with them operating out of Venezuela, the FARC will rearm. And I think this is a uh, something that I'm hoping will happen, but I very much doubt it will. This is talking about actually a right-wing paramilitary group called the AGC. They were the actually the second largest military group after the FARC. But they don't count the FARC anymore because technically they've quote-unquote disarmed, when really they've just become the ELN. But as you can see here in Colombia, look at where they operate. You see how there's a division? This is where the FARC and the ELN are going to be operating. I'm telling you right now, it smells just like the Venezuelans have their eye on Panama. Because if they cut the country in two, up here, it's going to be free day recess for those SU, those Sukhois. And there won't be any Air Force in this region that can do anything about it. And in that vein, I actually brought up a guy, he's a Brazilian, who does a lot of study into South American militaries. And I've got it muted just because it's hard to listen to him, but he does have it closed caption. I'm going to let this play forward so that you can watch an SU, a Sukhoi SU-30 in action. It is no joke. And they have a bunch of them ready to go, and they've had Russian advisors on the ground there doing training as well. Now, I've got this sped up. It's about a six-minute section of video. And he talks about what they have, and it's, uh, if they start shooting down there, around that canal, you can double gas prices tomorrow. So while we're watching this, I just, uh, want to rewarn everyone, if you have folks that are thinking about vacationing in the Caribbean. Any folks you know living in Costa Rica, living in Panama, please stop, take a minute, get on the phone, whatever you got to do, email, text, and show them these articles I've shown you. The Venezuelans are ready to throw down on this. They're not going to wait. Now here he makes the allegation that the uh, Venezuelans would have air superiority on the Brazilians, and he's probably right for a minute. Um, but the Brazilians would, would absolutely wipe the floor with them. They have too many people, too big of a navy. They wouldn't need it. Besides, this is something that the Brazilians aren't even probably going to be interested in getting involved in. Because they really have no winner. They have as many problems with Colombia as they do with, with Venezuela. And with their issues with Lula. And the guy who's currently in charge, he's basically a lame duck president. He can't run again. His name's Tamer. He's been convicted of basically the same thing that Lula's in jail for. So... I know it's not something that a lot of channels have alleged that World War III was going to start here in our backyard, but the way things are going, I think there's as good a chance as any that when we finally do go nose to nose with the Russians, it will more than likely be over Venezuela or Colombia. So... Anyway, we will leave it there. I won't waste a whole lot more of your time on this, but I'm sure a lot of you already know about the capabilities of this aircraft and that it's nothing to be monkeyed with, and if the Venezuelans say they're going to do it, they're going to do it. And, like I said, they are already deployed. They've been moved from the center of the country here all the way over here to right here on the border. Here's the Magdalena River right through here. And this is exactly what 
this Venezuelan lawmaker said they would do, specifically do. So, and last January 16th, this is what I said was going to happen. I was hoping I was wrong, but we'll just keep our eye on it. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you.